Let's talk about watchOS. Apple Watch continues to be the most loved watch in the world because it helps you stay connected, active, and healthy. In watchOS 9, we're bringing great new features to each of these three areas. First, you can stay connected to what matters to you most just by glancing at your wrist, whether you use the popular Photos watch face or a face with rich complications. And we're adding four new watch faces for you to choose from. The astronomy face has been remastered to take advantage of the expansive display and shows current cloud coverage around the world. The lunar calendar is used to observe traditional holidays and special events in many cultures. The lunar watch face celebrates this thousand-year-old practice with support for Chinese, Islamic, and Hebrew calendars. Playtime, designed by artist Joy Fulton, features whimsical animated numbers. You can tap the display to send them bouncing around, and when you lower your wrist, they take a nap. Finally, Metropolitan highlights watch typography with a new font that dynamically stretches when you rotate the digital crown and features many lovely color combinations. Rich complications enable you to see more information in a small space, and we're bringing these to more of our watch faces. WatchOS 9 also introduces a refreshed Siri UI and new banner notifications, and active apps will be pinned to the top of the dock for quick access. Another way to stay connected is by listening to the latest stories or sharing your favorite content. With WatchOS 9, the podcast app allows you to discover and follow new podcasts using Search and Listen Now. And the app is now available to kids using Family Setup. For developers, sharing content and selected images from apps like Outcast and WeChat is easier with the new ShareSheet and Photos Picker APIs. And with CallKit, you can start and or mute VoIP calls from apps like WebEx directly on Apple Watch. And that's some of what's coming in watchOS 9 to keep you connected. And now to Craig to tell you what's coming to keep you active. The Workout app is one of the most popular apps. So in watchOS 9, we're bringing you easy to use metrics, views and training experiences inspired by high-performing athletes, starting with running. It's a sport that no matter what your level, you can use metrics to better understand your performance, and switching up your training can reduce the chance of getting injured. The first thing we're doing is adding three new running form metrics to track how efficiently you run. Measuring these from the wrist isn't easy. Take vertical oscillation, for example which is a measure of how much you move up and down. If it's too high, your energy might be wasted going up versus propelling you forward. In order to capture this from the wrist, we need to extrapolate your torso movement from the distinctive style of your arm swing. We use machine learning and sensor fusion, a combination of accelerometer and gyroscope to isolate your torso movement and then measure how much vertical oscillation is produced. We use a similar approach to measure the two other running form metrics, stride length and ground contact time. These metrics can be added to new easy to read workout views. Each workout view lets you see more at a glance. Scroll the digital crown to see new views for familiar metrics like segments, splits and elevation. And we're introducing heart rate zones so you can quickly see what zone you're in and get a sense of your intensity level at any point during your workout. And there's also a new custom workout that you can use to add structure into your run. For example, if you are trying to improve your speed or endurance, you can create a workout using distance and time intervals that include sets of work and recovery, which you can repeat as needed. You can also add one of the new alerts to a specific part of your workout like one to monitor which heart rate zone you want to train in to help keep you on track. During your run, these alerts will guide you with both haptics and voice feedback, letting you know when to switch between work and recovery and when to pick up the pace if your heart rate falls below the target zone that you set. During your run, you can use the digital crown for additional workout views, like this new power metric Running with a power target can help you go the distance by keeping your effort in a range that you can reasonably sustain. You can even see how this workout is contributing to your activity rings. 
And if it's a route you do often, it will be automatically saved in the workout app for you to race against your last or best time. That way you can see if all the training you are doing is paying off. You can use many of these new features, not just when you're running, but for many workout types like hiking, HIIT and functional strength training. And for our triathletes, there's a new multi-sport workout type that uses sensor fusion to detect when you finish one leg of your race and are transitioning to the next. So it can automatically switch between swimming, cycling and running. That's just some of what's coming to the workout app in watchOS 9. Since the first Apple Watch, we've been inspired by the stories we hear from users who stay motivated by closing their activity rings each day. We also know there are many iPhone users who want to meet their fitness goals but don't yet have an Apple Watch. So in iOS 16, the fitness app will be available to all iPhone users. Using the iPhone motion sensors, you can track steps, distance, flights climbed, and workouts from your favorite apps, which can be converted to an estimation of your active calories to contribute to your daily move goal. You'll also be able to share your move ring with friends and receive coaching tips. While Apple Watch gives you a picture of your all day activity, we're excited to bring some of the fitness app benefits to iPhone users to get them started on their fitness journey. Now, I'll hand it off to Sumbul to tell you what's coming in watchOS 9 to help keep you healthy. The Sleep app has helped millions of you by providing insights into how much sleep you're getting, along with metrics like heart rate, respiratory rate, and blood oxygen. In watchOS 9, you'll be able to learn more about your sleep with sleep stages. Apple Watch uses signals from the accelerometer and heart rate sensor to detect which stage of sleep you're in. Machine learning models were trained and validated against the clinical gold standard of polysomnography with the largest and most diverse population ever studied for a wearable. You can see how much time you spent in each stage as well as when you might have woken up. You'll see more details in the Health app where you'll learn that each sleep stage, REM, core, and deep, perform an essential function. And as you sleep, you're likely to cycle through these stages multiple times. Researchers are still looking into what happens during sleep and how it impacts your health. We want to help push forward the science of sleep. So, Apple Heart and Movement Study participants will now be able to contribute sleep stage data through the research app. With the large scale of this study, we are excited about the potential discoveries. That's what's new with sleep. Another area where Apple Watch has an impact is heart health. We hear from so many of you who have received an atrial fibrillation alert and sought potentially life-saving care. So we also wanted to offer support once you've been diagnosed. When living with this condition, it's important to understand the time you spend in AFib because it may relate to your risk of serious complications such as stroke. WatchOS 9 can now track the amount of time your heart shows signs of this rhythm with AFib history. And in the Health app, you can manage lifestyle factors that may influence the amount of time you spend in AFib, like exercise, sleep, and weight. AFib history even helps you identify the time of day or week when your AFib is most frequent. You can also share a PDF with your doctor to facilitate richer conversations. AFib history is a first of its kind feature that uniquely provides insights into your AFib over the long term. We expect to receive FDA clearance for AFib history soon. Apple Watch makes some of the more complicated aspects of your health more intuitive. And this year, we're tackling another integral aspect of health for so many of us, medications. Over 50% of people take prescription medications, and we wanted to help make it easier to track, manage, and understand the medications that you take. So in watchOS 9, the Medications app makes it easy for you to discreetly and conveniently track your medications, vitamins, and supplements anytime. You can log medications that you might take occasionally, like Cetirazine, for allergies. And you can receive notifications for medications that you need to take regularly. Rich complications on your watch face can help you stay on top of your schedule. And of course, you can track and manage your medications in the Health app 
even if you don't have an Apple Watch. To build your medications list, start typing the name and you'll see suggestions. We wanted to make creating the list easier, especially if you take multiple medications. So you can just use your iPhone camera to scan the label of your medication. You can create a schedule to receive reminders and add custom visuals to make it easy to remember. Another important aspect of medications is drug-drug interactions, which can make them less effective or cause side effects. In the US alone, drug interactions cause nearly a quarter of a million hospitalizations each year. To help you with this, you'll receive an alert when you add a new medication if there is a critical interaction. We've partnered with Elsevier, a leading medical publisher to provide clinically accurate and evidence-based information across the medications experience. You'll be able to review critical, serious, and moderate interactions, as well as interaction factors like alcohol. Medications also works with health sharing, which is updated in iOS 16. You can now send a family member an invitation to share their health data with you. This is another way that you can support a loved one on their health journey and have peace of mind too. Now, back to Kevin. Your health data is some of your most personal information and privacy is central to how we build and design features for Apple Watch. Health data is encrypted on device and is not shared without your explicit permission. You'll also now be periodically reminded of what health data you're sharing and who you're sharing it with. There's so much more in watchOS 9, including support for six new keyboard languages, a new way for developers to connect their watchOS apps to Apple TV, and with family setup, kids can now control home devices right from their wrist. watchOS is the world's most advanced wearable operating system. And watchOS 9 takes it further with new features to help you stay connected, active, and healthy.